Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions. I'm Ron Mackenzie Lafergie. The Goatman is, as the name would imply, a half-goat, half-man creature of legend. Sightings of such a beast have been reported across the United States, with similar stories being told across the world in centuries past. But what if the Goatman wasn't an urban legend, but an actual creature that exists? Let's explore. If you want more what-if videos, check out our biggest what-ifs playlist on the channel. Now get ready, it's time to ask the question, what if the Goatman was real? The stories of the Goatman vary a good deal depending on where they're told. Sometimes it's a beast living somewhat peacefully in the forest, other times, he's an axe-wielding menace wandering the back roads in search of prey. Some claim that he's simply a crazy old goat herd, while others claim he's the result of a government experiment gone wrong. With so little known about it, this creature continues to mystify believers to this day. However, the mere existence of this creature would have a number of implications. First of all, the goat man seems to be found across the United States, with reports of similar beasts turning up from Texas to Wisconsin to Maryland. This would imply that there isn't just one such creature, but actually multiple, perhaps even different species. This would explain the differing descriptions of the beasts in the various tales, since it's possible that different species or even different groups of the same species would act differently towards humans. I mean, this could also be explained by people making stuff up, but let's not open that can of worms. This means that these beasts would likely procreate. Rather than the solitary part goat, part man monstrosity of legend, there might actually be small groups of these beasts gathering together. The discovery of the goat man, or potentially goat men, would have significant effects on the scientific establishment, although these effects would depend on the origin of the creatures. If they had come to exist through the normal evolutionary process, this would throw our understanding of human evolution for a loop. We have found no evidence of such a creature in the fossil record, and this would likely result in a number of excavations in areas where the goatmen are found. The relationship between humans and goats would be studied much more in an attempt to determine the path these goatmen followed. On the other hand, if the goatmen were the result of some genetic experiment, as would likely be the case, this would be invaluable information to geneticists. Despite the apparent failure of the experiment that resulted in the goatmen, the knowledge that such a creation was possible would inspire many like-minded people to make their own attempts at such an amount. It could be that we'd start to see mad genetic scientists popping up, like Dr. Mephesto from South Park, playing around with genes in hopes of creating even more unholy creatures like this, like Man Bear Pig. However, if we were able to capture one, this would be of great utility to the medical community, and humanity in general. Studying the genetics of such a creature could help us to understand how it was achieved, and even improve upon what had been done. Furthermore, based on certain stories, like the ones that claim it wields an axe, it seems likely that some degree of sentience would be present. Depending on the intelligence of the creatures, it could be that we would communicate with them, which would help us to understand their kind and even whatever culture may be present. Of course, as with anything, many people would react with hostility at the thought of these goat men, whether or not most of them were violent. As we've seen in recent years, some people are happy to judge members of a certain group based on the actions of the minority. This animosity has been directed at just about any group under the sun. Currently we have men attacking women, women attacking men, liberals attacking conservatives, conservatives attacking liberals, people who don't like pineapple on pizza attacking people who correctly know it to be delicious, it's just a mess. Given the apparent inability for humans to get along with other humans, there's a good chance that we wouldn't exactly welcome this new hominid group with open arms. Even if most goat men were peaceful, the few violent ones might cause humanity to strike back and attempt to wipe out the creatures. Of course, considering how seldom they're reported, the goat men would likely be skilled at avoiding humans, but if we were making a coordinated effort to find and exterminate them with the aid of technology, they would likely be found. Finally, of course, the idea of the goat men would evoke rather disturbing images in many people. When one imagines how a half-man, half-goat might come to be, many would assume it was the result of a disturbing union between a human and a goat. This, of course, would become a heck of a meme, with the goat man finding his way into many jokes about other people's mothers. This is perhaps the most certain result of the existence of the goat man, with jokes like this dating back to 3500 BC. And now we return to our question, what if the goat man was real? Well, aside from the effects on Yo Mama jokes, the discovery of the goat man, or more likely goat men, could have some serious implications. It could spark further investigation into the fossil record in certain areas, or else inspire further genetic research, it could even be that if they possessed near-human sentience, we could communicate with them and potentially even integrate. However, there is a good chance that this terrifying and seemingly savage beast would inspire fear in humanity. This could result in the capture or extermination of the goat men, despite cries of protest from many in the population. Thank you for watching Life's Biggest Questions. I hope this was interesting and informative, and maybe even inspired you to look into it further on your own. If you like this video, please thumbs up and subscribe to the channel down below. While you're down there, let me know what you would do if you ran into the goat man. Until next time, I'm Ron McKenzie Lafergie with Life's Biggest Questions, wishing you the best of luck.